My emotions over the past week have been a roller coaster. Very upset, a lot of times even teary about what's going on in Ukraine. I have family there. I've been communicating with them, especially some of my cousins who live in Kyiv and the northern parts of Kyiv. And uh, things have been horrific. This is no power. Tonight's event is, has a twofold. The first one, obviously, since it's taking place at our church, is prayers and asking for God's assistance to help the Ukrainian people, to bring peace to the world and our nation, Ukraine. And the other purpose is really to help put in front of our brothers and sisters here in America what's going on in Ukraine. And we're hoping that somehow some miracle happens that the war stops. Slava Isusu Christu! Slava Ukraini! What can prayer achieve? In our Ukrainian culture, prayer is very important. Ukrainians have been, always have been, very religious nation. We're hoping that prayer brings us together and understanding that we need to help each other. Uh, we need to be together. And uh, that's the best thing I can ask for. But what we have been praying in church every day, uh, every Sunday after a Mass, is uh, a Muleban, which is a, a vigil prayer to Mary. And it really goes uh, as a prayer asking Mary to pray for us. Bohorodice Divo, Radisha Blahodatna Marie, Hospod Stoboyu, Blahoslovena Timijin Kami, I blahosloveni plod čerava tvoho, po te porodila je Hrista spasa i zbavitelja duš naših. What is my message to President Putin of Russia? Stop the war. There is no reason to kill innocent people. Stop the war. It will lead nowhere. Ukrainians are not against Russians. Ukrainians want peace, and peace should be between two nations.